Hello, uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to make baba ganoush, which is one of the staples of our Sabbath table. It's really easy to make, it can be prepared in advance, and it's delicious. You need three basic ingredients. One is an eggplant. Two is sesame tahini. Sometimes uh, you can get it toasted, sometimes raw, and a lemon. So the first step in making this dish is to roast eggplant. <laughs> so to roast the eggplant, I like to do it over the burners on the stove. So very simply, put your eggplant on your burner. Start it. And periodically you turn it so it doesn't actually burn uh, too much or char too much on any one side. This usually takes about five minutes to do. Once this is done, the next step is to put it in the oven. The oven set at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And I cook it for about 45 minutes. So here we have our eggplant. It's uh, over the flames. Uh, you can see it's getting a little bit charred, which is fine. You want it nicely charred. And you periodically turn it because you uh, want it evenly done. And this, as I said, takes about five minutes. I'll leave it there for a few minutes to make sure that it actually gets properly uh, roasted this way. Okay, so now it's been about 45 minutes in the oven at 325 degrees. So I'm going to take it out. The next step is actually rather important. Okay. Now you can see that it's been pretty cooked. And it goes into a colander. And the next step is kind of filleting it a bit. Let juices in it, drain out, and I then leave it in the colander for generally about two or three hours just to allow it to drain completely, and then we come back to it at that time. So that'll be the next step. So we now let the eggplant drain for a few hours, and this is what it looks like. The next thing is getting rid of the skin and collecting the pulp. And as you see, most of the skin just sort of comes right off. Some requires a little more work than others. It's easier if it's been charred. It does take a little bit of uh, inspection to make sure you get all the skin. And this now goes into a bowl because you mix in the other ingredients, which would be the lemon and the tahini. For the tahini, I like to add about uh, two tablespoons. Generally a good idea to mix it up before you use it because it tends to settle a bit get thick at the bottom and a little bit oily around the top. And this can be done to taste. I usually use about half a lemon's juice. It's really also a matter of taste. I like it a little bit sour, not too sour. And then the next step is really just mixing it up and mashing it. And also sometimes I just use this, which is a good old fashioned chopper. And that very quickly uh, breaks it down into small pieces. Like after it's been chopped, put the tahini and a little bit of lemon juice. And this is about the texture I particularly like. 
And the next step is just to plate. Which I'm going to do right now. This can be prepared in advance and refrigerated or put together just a few minutes before you're ready to eat it. I myself prefer near room temperature. I think you get better taste when you do that. So, here you have it. A nice little dish. Doesn't take a lot of work to prepare it. Yeah, it's quite tasty. So enjoy your Shabbos. This is just a little extra for your Shabbos meal. Thank you.